Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron, with Evolution Daily. And in today's video, I'm gonna present you five tips that are gonna help you out on first dates. A lot of the times in the pickup community, we refer to it as a day two. Whatever the case may be, whether you met the girl on Tinder, whether it's a friend setting you up with a friend, or you met her via Cold pickup, these five tips are gonna help you to enjoy the date more and to make sure that you seal the deal at the end of the date. So at the end of this video, I want you guys to go ahead and comment below any extra tips that you guys might have for my audience, or maybe even just comment below and let me know about the worst first date that you've ever been on. Tip number one, make sure that the date location is as close to your house as humanly possible. This is crucial for tip number five, which is gonna be all about how to most effectively pull the girl back to your house after the date. Now that being said, I know that some of you guys maybe live with parents or you have, I don't know, some roommates where for whatever reason you just can't bring the girl back to your house. And in that situation, if you know that she lives alone, then make sure the date is as close to her house as possible. And in crazy situations, maybe you're in high school and you're watching this right now, you live with your parents, she lives with hers, then make sure that the date is near a location that you already know about where you could go park the car. Hey, we're gonna go for a little drive and I just wanna show you something over here. Maybe it could be near some woods, in a park, something like that, somewhere where you're going to be able to seal the deal. The very last thing that you want here is for the pull at the very end to have all of these unnecessary obstacles like a 45 minute train ride, a long ass drive that nobody wants to embark on ensure that the date location is as close as possible to where you plan on sealing the deal. Tip number two, make sure the date location is cool. There should be dim lighting, there should be cool music, it should be an independent coffee shop, restaurant, or bar in the area. The last thing that you wanna do is take a girl to a fucking Applebee's or a TGI Fridays or some shit. You want it to be a seductive environment, an environment where you two can get to know each other and it doesn't feel like you're fucking mom and dad and you got a babysitter for the night and it's your big night out this month. Again, make sure it's cool, it's dim lighting that's gonna get her into that more seductive mood, and ideally, they'll kinda play some cool music. Tip number three, ask a lot of questions. You almost want the girl to feel as though she's applying for a job and you're the interviewer. We call this the buyer's frame. Too many guys fall into what's known as the seller's frame. The idea here being that if you're selling a car for $5,000, you don't care who buys that car so long as you can sell it. So you'll go sell it to anybody in the entire world. Whereas the buyer, the buyer knows what he wants. The buyer knows that he's looking for the right fit. You can ask deeply personal questions such as, what would you say is the most interesting thing about you? What does your ideal future look like or so what is it that you usually look for in a guy that you're considering a relationship with? This is subconsciously going to put you into a position of power on the date and it's going to create a ton of attraction from the girl. Tip number four, position yourself physically at the date location in a way that's gonna allow you to get physical with the girl. So me, for example, ideally, I like to actually be sitting next to a girl at a bar, even if we're not drinking. Many of you know, if you've been watching Evolution Daily, that I don't drink alcohol, but I'll still put us up at the bar, so that way we can eat our food, and then while we're talking and eating and laughing, there can be a lot of very subtle leg touches, hand holds, sort of just grazing of the arm, just making the physicality much easier than if we were sitting across from each other at a table. This also works really well at a lot of restaurants because a lot of restaurants have circular tables. So they'll have circular tables that are near the bar, usually high tops or just lower circular tables. And as you are going to sit down, sort of get a feel for where she's going to sit and then make sure again, you're not on the opposite side of that table, but position yourself next to her. And what I'll do is I'll actually just go ahead and splice in a little picture to help you better understand exactly what I'm talking about right here.
Now during this time, you can be laughing, talking, having a great, engaging conversation, and you can just be subtly touching the girl and she'll probably be subtly touching you back if things are going well. But if you need a little pro tip for the easiest way to get physical, most girls are going to be wearing jewelry, whether it's a necklace or whether it's rings on their finger. And I've talked about this in videos in the past, and the easiest way is to say, hey, let me see your ring really quick. Now you're holding her hand. So you're messing with her hand and then as soon as you're done, you don't actually let go. You just keep holding your hand and you continue the conversation. Same thing with the necklace. Oh, where'd you get this? And you kind of start touching the necklace and now right here, you obviously want to release that and you're not going to keep holding onto the necklace. But it's a great way to start opening that door to physicality and getting you ready for tip number five. Tip number five for your first date. Closing the deal, getting the girl to come home with you. The most boss pimp move that I use is I close the check, I pay for it because I'm a gentleman, I get up and I go to the bathroom, I come back to the table and I say, are you ready? And she says, uh, yeah, sure. We get up and we walk straight to my house. Now in your situation, maybe you're going straight outside and getting the Uber or going straight to your car and then driving to your house. But again, there is no discussion about whether or not she's coming home with me. I'm leading the interaction. I've now led the entire date through the physicality, through the engaging conversation that we've had, through asking the questions like I talked about previously, and now I'm leading her to my house in such a confident way that it would almost feel weird for her to go against the existing motion of the evening. Provided that you've created enough attraction and comfort on this date, she's gonna wanna sleep with you. It's now on you to just leave the interaction as you've been leading through asking questions and being in that buyer's frame, through your physicality, and through having an engaging conversation, now lead her back to your house. Don't mess things up by opening your big dumb mouth. Hey, so uh, I was thinking that maybe we could go back to my house and uh, watch Netflix or uh, you know just hang out, whatever. Just get up, do the thing, assume that this is how it goes, feel entitled enough to know that this is how it goes and that you want what she wants and that she wants what you want. <laughs>